Hello everybody, my name is Chris Payton. I work as a genealogist in the west of Scotland, but I'm originally from Northern Ireland. And it's in that regard that I want to talk to you about my, my latest book, which is Tracing Your Belfast Ancestors, A Guide for Family Historians. Um, basically, th this book is fresh off the press. I've literally just received my author's copies yesterday. And I just want to give you a bit of an overview as to what the book is all about and how I hope it can help with your research. It's structured over nine chapters. The, the first one is A Wee History of Belfast, which does what it says on the tin, um, basically covering the last 400 years of, of the history of the city. Uh, then chapter two is called Out for a Dander, which is a wee phrase that means um, you, you aimlessly wander about. Uh, if, if I go for a dander, I'm just going out for a dander. I'm just going for a wee walk and I don't really care what the destination is. But the, book, uh, but the chapter is really about explaining the boundaries um, within the city of Belfast that records used to be kept within. So everything from parishes and baronies, even the fact that Belfast itself was divided across two counties, County Antrim and County Down. Um, but there's also a section in there, uh, because I didn't really know where else to put it, on the language that we speak in Belfast, which is a mixture of the English language, heavily influenced by the Ulster Scots lead or, or language, and the Irish Gaelic language, Gaelga, um, which has affected how we speak. Um, when I say hello to someone back home, uh, I, won't so, I won't say, hello, my good man, how are you? I'll say, what about you? Um, and those are English words, but that is not an English phrase. <laughs> so, um, then chapter three is Belfast Guardians and Gatekeepers, in which I explain the key repositories um, where you'll find records in Belfast and where they are, when they open, and what you need to know when you go there. Things like Prony, for example, um, down at Titanic Quarter, uh, but also things like museums, everything from the Ulster Museum to the um, the Museum of Orange Heritage, if your ancestors were Orangemen, the Eileen Hickey Irish Republican History Museum, uh, the Police Museum, Titanic Belfast. There's a, there's a lot of stuff you can visit in the centre that will provide context to your family history. Then chapter four is a very brief section on the key online repositories that might help with your research. And that's just an overview of what Ancestry, Find My Past, um, etc. can do for your Belfast based research uh, specifically. Um, then chapter five, From the Cradle to the Grave, is the first meaty section, which looks at things like uh, birth, marriage and death records, civil registration, church records, burial records, even cremation records. I, I do a lot of discussion about the various denominations and the church denominations, about where to find records before partition in 1921 and after partition, what's free, what isn't, etc. Then chapter six is a sense of place and value, looking for records that document where our ancestors lived. And that's everything from the census records to street directories, electoral records, um, valuation records, you know, the registry of deeds, uh, probate records, all that kind of stuff. Chapter seven is daily life, where I talk about some of the key institutions in the city that affected everyone when they grew up and whilst living there. So that's starting with things like school. You know, what school did they go to? Um, what hospitals did they go to or asylums? What workhouses did they attend or the poor house that existed? You know, um, court records, but also things like sports. Um, what records might there be for things like football teams that existed and, and Gaelic football and hurling and rugby, cricket and hockey. Um, I did include cricket. I'm yet to be convinced that's a sport, but some people believe in it. Uh, also theatres. You know, a lot of folk went to theatres in Belfast. There's a lot of good stuff to see. Chapter 8 then looks at occupations. Um, everything from businesses, the linen trade, shipbuilding, trade unionism, um, church ministers, teachers, all sorts that uh, I've sort of documented where some of the records can help on that front. And then chapter nine, other resources, is kind of a, a wrap up of things that I couldn't include, uh, particularly things like newspapers. Uh, there's a great newspaper library right in the center of the city, which you can go to at Central Library um, and some online repositories as well. Uh, things like the Moving Image, you know, the, the BBC and Ulster Television were based in Belfast. RTE down south has done a lot of coverage of Belfast as well. Um, there, there have been a few things happening in Belfast over the years. I'm sure you may be aware of some of them. And, and I end with DNA, just a, a kind of overview as to how DNA can help you to find connections 
with other uh, distant cousins who also have connections back to the city. So there's a few appendices at the end as well. The, the book itself is 183 pages in length. Um, it's my 22nd book. Uh, I've, I've written a few. Uh, this is probably the one that I am proudest of because this is very much about my Ian folk. I, I have a lot of ancestry from Belfast, uh, particularly on my mother's side. Um, going back several generations and you'll you'll get to meet some of my ancestors in the book uh, but I hope that it helps with your research I've tried to leave no stone unturned uh, with things that can help uh, to, to trace your ancestors um, the book itself is £14.99 although there will be various offers on the go at the moment now that it's just been released it's available from Pen and Sword at www.pen-and-sword.com Dot co dot uk that's if you want to buy it in the uk um and including the e-edition that's also available and um, from that site the book it will also be released in the united states in june of this year june 2023 and you can pre-order the book there at www.penandswordbooks.com and just type in my name and it should hopefully pop up or type in the name of the book and it'll pop up and you can pre-order it so um I really hope that this will help with your research. As I say, I had a lot of fun writing the book. I had a lot of fun going over to Belfast and just spending a couple of days photographing, taking pictures for the book. And uh, it's a labour of love, this one. So I hope it helps. And thanks very much for, for listening.